everybody, it's Andy, a.k.a. Max Ryder. We are back with another episode of Minecraft. I am trying to do some building this afternoon. <clears throat> I think it's time to put some buildings around the edges, the perimeter of Turtle Bay. To try to safetify the place for the golems and for everybody. So, <clears throat> excuse me, man. So these are actually going to start... Uh, hold on, let me check out here. Okay, there's nothing. <clears throat> These are actually going to start just outside this wall, and then the wall is going to be eliminated. <clears throat> Man. I might actually push back this as well. Because there should be a little green in front. Maybe two, a couple spaces of green. <clears throat> Man, I mean, this I just had a big bowl of ice cream. It's so good. But there's going to be houses along here to act as the wall. Uh, down here is, there's probably going to be one house here, and then down this way we're going to put houses for uh, like fishermen's huts or something like that. And then the houses are going to continue on that wall down there. That's the plan. And I'm trying to figure out how far back from the road I want them to be. Two is probably enough. So... I gotta figure out. Come here, cat. I'm gonna move you away from here. Teleport! Uh, sit down there. That's a good spot for you. Okay, getting that out of the way is helpful. I don't know if this wall is gonna stay here. But I do know I want the houses to come back this direction a little ways, so I'm going to start by putting down, we've got quite a bit of wood here, but the fronts of the houses are going to be about this area. Hmm, this little hill here might cause some issues. If the first house starts, it could start it right down here. It could be down in the hill. I gotta think about okay, I've got some stuff laid out for at least the first couple of houses. Three, the first three houses, probably. Um, the fronts are gonna be right up against the... Now this one, hold on, this one's gonna be a little different. Yeah, well, two, three, four, five. Uh, for the moment, these are all going to have the same design, but I might ch make some changes and turn some of this wood into, uh, what do you call it, the, the split, kind of split wood. I think we're going to pull this hill back a little bit too, actually. But all these houses are going to have to be, well, no, this could have two levels, maybe... I don't know, I'm just fiddling with designs here, so I think we'll start with this one, and then we'll work our way up to the, this is a second house, this is a long, a long house, this is a big house. Okay, I'm just seeing what I can put together here, we'll probably do something over here too with buildings, I'm not sure if this is going to work out or even look good, but hopefully it'll be okay. All right, so <clears throat> we're getting the basics of these homes put together. Uh, they're not going to have entrances probably in the back unless there is a fenced-in area back here. But I really don't want the villagers going out here because these homes are meant to act as walls but look 
like uh, they're meant to act as walls but look like homes. Most of them are going to just be one story tall and have a high roof so that way my golems won't get all shot up. They're also going to be pretty well lit and I'm going to need some glass for the windows. Okay, so we've got to start in this first home, and I'm thinking this would be the least nice. So I think the floor might just... We might do cobblestone for the floor, actually. There's not a whole lot of that in this town. <clears throat> so I think we will... Okay, the exterior is mostly done. What I might do is move the main gate out over to here, and put like a mini gate here to keep people from coming in. We've got a kind of a weird roof. As you can see, it's like a weird double house. But it doesn't go all the way across in the same way, so it does this oddity. What is going on there? Yeah, I gotta. I can maybe fix that. And here's the interior so far. Still gotta put in some stuff. We've got to finish these braces here. Okay. The interior is mostly finished. I'm going to replace this bed with, uh, with green beds. Probably two green beds here. Or maybe here. There's not a whole lot of headroom. It's not a, it's not a tall house. Uh, I've also expanded <clears throat> on the wall here. Uh, this will actually allow for... This will help protect the golems, so they don't have to worry quite so much about getting shot. And it will also... <clears throat> excuse me. And at the same time, it's also going to preserve the original wall here at the village, or the original gate. So there's our first house. I'm not liking how this is coming up, so... I'm just going to push it back. There we go. And throw another lantern up here. I've got to get some beds put in here. This, this place needs a little... This, it needs some furnishing, so I might put a rug or a something. I'm not too concerned with furnishing right, furnishing right this moment. We might come back and actually furnish it later. It's not a bad little house. It looks like two houses. Okay, here's the basics. We still have to do some decorating, maybe add some furniture. It's got a it's got a rug. We've got several beds, because that's what these houses are for, is housing the little villagers. So now so this guy is except for some interior fiddling, he is pretty much done. Not sure what's gonna get built over this way. The uh, this is a boarding house just slash housing. Okay, I forgot one thing to finish this house off. Some shutters over the windows that adds a little texture to the exterior. I can also get rid of these torches I put in here initially. I've still got these cows out here. I need to build a, a ranch, cattle, since uh. What the hell just happened? Um, since this is going to also be the place where all the meat for the kingdom is made and comes from, there we go. So we've got some nice shutters on the windows. Probably do some decoration above, but that's okay. I think we're pretty much done with this building. Again, except for like interior design. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. There's the dogs. And I will talk to y'all next time.